So, standing here with Simon after the 4 0 win against Hyde, what did you make of that match? Yeah, it's good three points. Um, good to score for another four goals at home. Um, yeah, and things are on the up. You know, we, wanted, we just wanted to make sure the result was positive today after last week's disappointing result away at Gloucester. And I thought we probably deserved at least a point. Um, you get judged on results, and you know, at least that's three, three wins out of four in the league four out of five in all competitions so um, it's an upward curve and we've got to keep it going now. It's important for the team to put in a good performance after last week's uh, result and do you think they did that? Yeah I mean obviously 3-0 up at half time um, you know, that's, it's definitely uh, brought a few cheers from the fans which is what what we wanted you know started fast didn't we and the first couple of goals came in the first 10-12 minutes and um, then you're getting your home fans on board and a few tackles going in and good attacking play and um, Front men are linking better and better. I mean, Wally got injured in the warm up actually, but I think he just so he wanted a goal, so you know, he was always going to try and um, play on it, but his ankle's going to come up like a balloon, so hopefully that will um, recover in time for next Saturday. I mean, you bloody the new lad, uh, Luke, as well. How do you think he did? I think he did well, yeah. I think um, he attacks the ball really well in the air. In both boxes, um, he's, he's pretty dominant and it, it, his physique's good. He turns quickly and, and uh, he's not going to get done for pace, which um, you know, I think uh, we looked pretty mobile across the back and we weren't lazy at all trying to play offside, you know, we, you know, we defended well. Because so, you started off with obviously Craig and Dominic on the wings and Alex in the middle, it seems to be that you were going for pace, was that an area that you identified as uh, being a weakness at Hyde? Uh, no, I just it, 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 we got at our disposal and I thought, you know, I wanted to play all the hungry players and, and Alex deserved his chance, you know, he, he came in, I thought he was man of the match, to be honest, yeah, I thought he was outstanding. <laughs> And a lovely golf by Dominic Rowe. He took that one really well. Oh, it's a beauty, yeah. He came inside on his left foot and um, he was right behind it from where I was in the dugout on the diagonal and superb finish. How well do you think the team can push on now? Because that's been three wins and a, a defeat and then another win. I mean, they seem to be responding well again. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, they're, they're a good group. Um, just because we've got people back fit, it doesn't mean to say you're going to win seven, eight, nine, ten on the bounce. You know, it, it's... Um, you know, it's a work in progress now. We've got people, big players, back fit, and um, you know, I've always said I think we're going to be a really competitive team if we can have some momentum built from having the same uh, group of players you know, available for selection and consistency with that brings consistency of performance, and, and I think there'll be good enough performances to get us wins and the necessary results to climb the table. Now, a lot was made of the fact that you kept the team in the dressing room at Gloucester for quite a while after the match. I mean, what was the message you were trying to get across to them then? Well, I spent in the frustration, to be honest, um, a bit like that. Um, I, was, I, was, I was just very frustrated, you know, you're waiting all day Saturday, to, you can't wait for a game, you travel, you know, half the length of the country uh, on a coach and, and you get the lads organised and it was a sloppy mistake that led to a goal, um, a sloppy start. You know, we lost the game on, on the back of that, despite creating numerous chances to score. And I was just, I was angry because I... I knew that um, you know if we played well today, we might have a chance being at home, uh, and you know we could have been looking at five wins on the bounce, and we didn't make it, make it happen. Um, and some, you know, I want to win. I want to win every game, so I'm not going to be happy. Now we've got Worcester City next week. I mean, obviously we'll be looking forward to a bit of revenge over them, hopefully for that one 0 win. But you know, would you change anything for that game, or are you going to sort of look at this, the match and think more the same? I'll, I'll always look at the match three or four times in the week, um, probably tomorrow, Monday, um, Tuesday day, you know, in anticipation of training on, uh, on Tuesday night, uh, just to review factors where I think we can improve. Still said to the lads after, I think, in fact, is where we could uh, tighten up. Um, I think Phil Barnes still had to pull off a couple of great saves, and, you know, we've conceded a, um, from a throw in again uh, down the left hand side. And, and so you don't want things to become. Um, predictably a problem you know and throw-ins against we've got to defend better it's simple as that we're playing a straightforward system we're not complicating it we're getting you know we're getting good players on the ball and we're delivering it in good areas and and we've got finishes um, we're looking very good in front of the goal I thought the back four played really well together um, but as a team we shouldn't allow um, Hyde to be uh, testing our keeper as much as they were second half it's a natural reaction to drop off once you're protecting a lead and a good lead like we had um, but it's still got to stiffen up and become a little bit a bit more narrow as a, as a whole unit um, to make play predictable and therefore to be able to regain possession. Um, 
Barnes is on fire. You know, he, he's pulled off a couple of wonderful saves, and um, no doubt there's a little bit of satisfaction in him, you know, proving a few doubters wrong. That's great. Thank you very much, Sam. Cheers.